Brownsville is more than just a ship channel, it's a channel to the economic growth of the RGV. Recently, they've seen a huge shift in the way that they do business, and this morning, Manuel Ortiz is here to fill us in on their progress. Thanks so much for being here so early. Uh, thank you for having me. So, you know, we have a lot of viewers that tune in from all across the valley. Can you please tell them what exactly the Port of Brownsville is? What sorts of business you do there? Well, the Port of Brownsville is actually a huge asset, not only for Brownsville, but for the region as well. You hit the nail right on the head. Uh, the Port of Brownsville is actually responsible for 38,000 direct and indirect jobs on a regional and statewide level, according to a study conducted by the Texas Department of uh, Transportation. So you, got, you have ships that come in and out of the channel, import, export, all sorts of materials. Right. We're among the top three ports in the country in the importation and exportation of steel. We get ships basically from all over the world, China, Japan, Russia. And the steel that comes into the Port of Brownsville is actually exported into Mexico to places like Ramos Arispe, Saltillo, and Monterrey. And I guess your question would be, well, why does that steel actually matter to me? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason is because a lot of the manufacturing companies are located in Mexico, and that steel actually comes back as a washer, a dryer, or even a vehicle, stuff that we utilize every day. So basically, as we said in the last hour, it's sort of the gateway into Mexico by way of water. And so you get all the steel, send it over to Mexico. They send us goods that we need here in the U.S. So how has this impacted the economy of the valley? Because it's not just the lower valley, it's the upper valley that's impacted as well. It's the entire area. Right, and a perfect example of that would be for the first time in the port's history, we actually handled wind components this year, mm -hmm. uh, back in January and uh, in uh, March. And that was for a uh, project in Willacy County. It was for a wind farm, uh, the Magic Valley Wind Farm in Willacy County. The towers and the blades came in from China and Vietnam. And again, you're talking about the port's regional impact to where those weren't really going to be used in Brownsville, but they were for uh, Willacy County. I read that a lot of the gas in the lower valley actually comes through the port as well. Yeah, that's right. 95% uh, of the gasoline utilized in the lower Rio Grande Valley actually comes through the port of Brownsville. So, in fact, the port of Brownsville actually uh, plays a significant impact in our lives every day, whether it's through job creation, economic impact, or something as simple as getting us from one place to the other. And there's a lot of projects that are coming up in the near future as well. That's right. Uh, we actually have a uh, project with a company called Gulf Coast LNG. For uh, We actually signed a lease option agreement with them back in January for 500 acres. And what they're talking about doing is investing 3 to $5 billion at the Port of Brownsville. And what they're going to be doing is building a liquefaction facility that, in essence, will export liquid natural gas to uh, different parts of the world. And again, you're talking about thousands of jobs being created during the construction phase and hundreds of jobs being created once it's fully operational. And interestingly enough, it used to be uh, kind of a pastime for people to go look at some of the ships that come in and out of the port. Mary's going to be speaking with you later in our next half hour, talking about security at the Port of Brownsville and how this relates to the viewer. Mary? Good. And welcome back, everybody. And this morning, we're talking to Manuel Ortiz with the Brownsville Port of Entry. And we're talking about all sorts of interesting things. Uh, let's start with Hollywood, because you turned in your port yesterday into a big movie set. Tell us why. Right, exactly. Uh, security is actually a very big deal at the Port of Brownsville. It is actually close to the public, and it's been that way since uh, September 11, 2001. We actually have our own police department, and security is something that we take very seriously. Over the course of the last three days, we actually filmed uh, three videos, one of which will be used for external purposes, and the other two will be used for internal purposes. The first one will deal with general port security procedures as far as gaining access to the Port of Brownsville, and the other one will deal with our Transportation Workers Identification Credential Program, or TWIC program. Uh, I see, and just a side note, some of the actors in that uh, movie were actually some of the employees that worked there at the port, but you touched on transportation, and a very important project that's coming to the port, you guys are still working on, is uh, this sort of service that's gonna run from Florida, the Florida's coast to the Texas coast. Explain a little bit more about that. Right. Over the course of the last two weeks, we received uh, word that we were the recipients of a U.S. Department of Transportation grant called the TIGER grant. TIGER stands for Transportation Investment Generating Economic Recovery. And what that's for is we received $12 million for the construction of a dock. Mm -hmm. That's not only going to help us really enhance our cargo handling capabilities, but it's also going to help us in negotiations with service providers as we look to start a container service between the Port of Brownsville and Port Manatee, Florida. Okay, and maybe some jobs to come with that because I know a lot of the people here in the Valley are desperately looking for work and that could be some way uh, that they can get themselves back in gear. Right, there are so many benefits from the construction of this dock and the uh, container service between the Port of Brownsville and Port Manatee, Florida. You're talking about hundreds of jobs 
transportation by water is better for the environment. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper for companies. You get trucks off the road, so it makes it safer for families whenever they take those weekend trips. And it's just a win-win for everybody involved. Absolutely. Manuel, thank you so much for coming in this morning. A lot of information. I'm sure we'll have you again very soon to talk a lot more about some projects going on at the Port of Brownsville. Great. Thank you for having me. really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.